All right, now that takes care of some of the more synthesized type sounds, right? The sound effects type things. But really what we want right now is we want to start to add that element of adventure. Now for me, that means orchestral type sounds, violas, cellos, timpanis, things like that. Structure is what gives us access to those type of libraries. And that's what we have going on right now. In fact, I'm just gonna record enable one part and check it out. Here's some cellos we have. Ah, I love those already. How about this? Here's some double bass sound. This is Jeff's favorite. Oh, you gotta love that too. We've even got timpanis in here. You gotta have timpanis, right, in, in a score like this. So now how do we put all this together? Well, here's where the fun part comes. Um, we're just gonna go ahead, let's move structure for a minute. Sure. Because what's kind of going on in the background is, well, you're seeing another new view of Pro Tools. We've got what we call a tiered MIDI edit window. So this kind of comes in handy, especially as you're starting to perform and play in a performance, because you can see more data in, a, in, in the same amount of space. Okay, we've got our cello parts already record enabled, so Jeff, let's go ahead and see what we come up with. Okay, we'll give you a click, and here we go. So there's our cello part. Now we're just gonna keep it rolling and actually let's go ahead and jump down to the bass part now. Okay. See what we get. All right, I like it. It's cool. All right, how about some, uh, some drums now? Some, some, some timpani drums. Okay. Here we go. All right, I like it. I'm gonna turn the click off too. So you kind of get a feel for that now, right? It feels like it's adding a little bit of an adventure, huh? A lot of good movement, yep. All right, I love it. All right, now I like that part. That was cool, Jeff, but I gotta admit, I'm feeling some violas or something right now. What That'd do you be think? great, yeah. Okay, well then let's do this. Let's play some violas in there, but also let's have an opportunity to talk a little bit about this new tiered MIDI edit window. Okay, sure. So we've expanded this out and uh, I'm gonna actually take it into a view here which allows us to see multiple parts of MIDI at the same time and color code by that. So I can distinguish between bass notes, cellos, and once we get violas in there, see them all at the same time. Nice. So uh, let's set this up and uh, let's jump in. Okay, record enable. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Had a little clam there, Jeff. <laughs> I really want to change those couple of notes. So this is where the new MIDI edit view comes in handy. Now I can easily go through and fix these notes using the Smart Tool. This is one tool that lets you move, trim, or extend note durations. And at the bottom of the window, you can edit velocity. Now you can also quickly tab forward or backwards through all the notes. I really like this view because it has its own customizable set of tools and modes. And with this button, I can color code my MIDI parts. Now this makes it really easy to determine exactly what I'm editing. Now as you can see, the tiered MIDI edit window is flexible. In fact, we can even see notes in this window. This is another addition inside of Pro Tools 8. So Jeff, let's go ahead and take a look at the new score edit window. Mm -hmm. Composers have been waiting a long time for this. In fact, everything you see here is based on the popular Sibelius notation software. Now, while we can't do everything you can do in Sibelius, Jeff, tell us what we can do to customize this window. We can actually right-click here and go to the score setup. We can actually tweak, um, obviously, the title, the composer. Um, it's what you see is what you get. So if I click, I can actually dynamically resize any of the staves. Um, we can also, if we actually want to tweak this further, we can just right-click and say, send directly to Sibelius. Nice. And then inside of Sibelius, of course, then we can really further uh, start to really tweak and edit our score. All right, let's go ahead and round out this section right now. So we brought up another structure right now, and we've loaded in some really great brass sounds. Listen to this. Here's some nice trombones. Cool. How about the trumpets? I love them. But Jeff, come on, let's be honest. What horror movie would be complete 
without a boys choir. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and play in a little uh, a little boys choir part right now, and uh, let's see what we come up with. You ready? Okay. Yep. Here let's we go. Do it. I like it. Now that works. And you know, seeing real-time notation draw as I play, that's how composers think, and that's how they want to work. 